Hello and welcome to video number eight. This is all about testing and making sure that you understand how to test it to make sure that it works. Because I will say once these are set up, a lot of times, sometimes they work. A lot of times, sometimes one of the items throughout the line does not work. So I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot. It. So whether you created the ring yourself or you hired somebody to do it, testing is very, very important. In fact, we outsource most of our rings, but yet we still have to go back and test it out. A lot of times when these freelancers are in the mode, they'll test it out, but they're really relying on you to test it out because they can't upload a YouTube video to your YouTube channel unless they have access. And a lot of times we don't give them access for you know privacy and security reasons. So let's go ahead and discuss how to do that. So let's hop on back over to IFTTT and I'll show you how you need to test things out. Okay, so we're back at IFTTT and what I recommend that you do is you open up the Excel spreadsheet that the freelancer gives you or that you've created yourself. And on that Excel spreadsheet, it should have your username and password and all the links to all of the accounts that were created. So in that case, how do we test it out? Well, obviously we're gonna to need to upload a video to YouTube. Now I'm not gonna do that now, but if you upload that, everything should work throughout the network. So the way you can test things out is simply by going to the websites that are in the Excel spreadsheet. So once you go there, if it has been posted, it works. If it's not, it's not working. If it's not working, then you'll need to kind of troubleshoot it. Either get the guy who created the ring to help you out, or if you did it yourself, this is basically what you need to do. So you need to check through and figure out what's not working. So if we found that the YouTube video is not being posted to blogger.com, we need to figure out why. So we need to go to the applet. So this in case is the YouTube like to blogger. So it's a little bit different than the upload to YouTube channel. But if we click on that, you can see here that we have the applet that goes from YouTube like to blogger. So if we click on this here, you can actually get a better view of what's happening. So Basically, anytime a YouTube video is liked, we create a post on Blogger, we put the title, we put all this. Now, we need to figure out why. Usually, a lot of times, the reason why it's not posting is because it's not connected to the account. So, you want to make sure that it's actually connected. If it is connected, then sometimes you'll need to look at, for example, this. Is it posting the title and maybe not the video? Or is it not posting everything? If it's not posting everything, it usually means it's a connection issue. If it is posting like the title, but not the, the body or the YouTube, then maybe it's the embed code is incorrect. So you can check that. So really what it comes down to is just trial and error. But if you really outsource this, it's really going to be a lot easier. But that's what we found to be the case in most of the time is that the services are not being connected. And I will say IFTTT, sometimes it can be hit or miss. And sometimes in that case, the services may or may not be working. And that's really reliant sometimes on the, the YouTube channel, the social media platform, and all of that. So hopefully those tips can help you along the way when it comes to testing.